Good morning to those in the West Coast, in California, and good evening. Good afternoon to those who are in the East Coast, and good evening to those of you who are in Europe and anywhere else in the world. This is our day three of our global self-awakening retreat. I'm happy we're all here again and excited for another day of yummy connection and entering into this unified field of oneness. We come here as the lovers of the truth. We are sannyasins, and the sannyasin, as I mentioned before, is a Sanskrit uh, word for the lovers of the truth, the monks on the path, those who gather together in the quest for self-realization and re emergence with the divine God. That is the ultimate goal for the spiritual warrior is to enter into this unified field of love and peace and oneness. So the truth of who we are is the goal, the main part of this retreat. And sometimes we have to discover who we are not. Maybe it's easier than maybe go directly wanting to go and discover who we are. Could be difficult and it may be easier than we discover who we're not. So this is a journey that we're on in this uh, nine days, which actually there's, today's the third one. So, uh, and we going, my intention is to go through different realms and discover different things. My teaching, as I mentioned yesterday and before, during our academy or other sessions that we have together is not therapy and is not about the realm of thoughts. The teaching is very direct and it's all pointing at silence. And through silence, I discover myself. Through silence, I discover that which is always here, that which is never changes and through silence I discovered that there's no birth and there's no death I am is always I am and is always here and it's the non-changing ever-present being the ultimate awareness and that is in everybody every single person and every single thing in the entire universe is made out of I am and I am is always here everywhere but we need to recognize this and realize it otherwise it's just words it's meaningless so we went very deep yesterday into abandonment uh, hate, loneliness, we looked at it, why we have this nagging voice and this sense that we're left out and sense that we're not complete and we are looking for something in the utter world to complete us naturally because that is 
our conditioning to look for love and as an object that if we reach it and we get it, then it will complete us. So I'm going to get into that today, but before I get into it, I'd like to finish up um, and wrap up bec yesterday because it's all connected and um, I feel like it's a little bit unfinished. I like to explain a couple more things and gives you an understanding of what happens as we enter into this dimension. Even though it's illusory, and I'm going to get into that, which is it's deeper. Um, we're going to get into this as we go forward, but first we need to clear some uh, essentials and the foundations of our psyche and the way we enter into this world and the, the very first imprints that are being imprinted in our psyche and things that kind of keep us bonded uh, in bondage and we keep struggling about it because simply we don't understand what happened in very early stages of our entrance to to this planet to this dimension so I want to clear that first before we can go to Nirvana so as I mentioned yesterday that upon our entrance to this dimension our parents, our guardians, our um, whomever is taking care of us are not able to hold us uh, next to their heart holding us, hugging us constantly all the time I uh, know that the Balinese women in Bali, Indonesia, um, the first nine months after the baby is born, the mother continuously is holding the baby uh, next to her chest. So their heart's connected. And the mother doesn't put the baby down. So nine months, the first nine months after the baby is born, the baby is constantly being held by the mother. Um, here, when in the modern world, especially Western world, and pretty much right now, a lot of different places in the world, because other countries following the West, because the West is the pioneer, and it's advanced technologically, uh, it's way more advanced from other places, so other countries following the West, even though a lot of the things here are backwards. Uh, but they copy it. But anyway, we're just um, talking, I'm generalizing things, okay? So there are some very interesting things here, some forces, some things that happen that we're kind of ignorant to it and we're not aware of it, of what happens. There's one thing is, yes, you are born and, and you are being handled by nurses or doctors and one interesting thing is that this was a common practice for a long time and I still I don't know if they're still doing it or not because this is not an industry that I'm into or I'm interested in so but to certain points I have an awareness of what is going on and and that is that <laughs> It's a very common thing that when the child is being born, uh, they used to, or they probably do it some other places in the world, is they turn the child ups and down, and is holding the child from its foot, from the ankle, and they slap the child on the butt or on its feet. 